can't tell, we are getting the four wheelers out. We got the Outlander out, we got the Renegade out. Both of these are 1000s, which is weird to say. Typically when you see a snorkeled XMR 1000, it's not a short frame like this. This was actually at XXC we converted over. We're getting the stuff out to ride. Julius, what'd you done do? I didn't do nothing. You, you didn't do nothing. Uh -uh. Julius started the Renegade, pulled like three feet, and we had some bad noises coming from it. I'm telling you it was a setup. Do what? It was a setup. It was a setup? It was a government. I don't, I don't think so, buddy. No, it was a setup. <laughs> <laughs> but this axle is blown. I don't know how it blown. It was just sitting in the garage, but that boot ripped, and it is making some awful noises. But to get the Renegade back in action, before we go rip today, we actually got another axle. So... We're gonna throw that joker in, and then we're gonna get to go rip. Me and Julius, we're gonna go rip the mud. I don't know if we're gonna ride here at the new property. We'll see. Well guys, we've made it to the property. Crank these bad boys up. That winch is about done. And we don't have a pull strap. We didn't even bring straps. <laughs> That's not good. Because we're definitely getting stuck. It's going to be interesting because it's the dry time of the year. But those mud holes are extremely bad. So will be curious to see what they look like midsummer like this. We do have the pond and the swamp up over there. But we're going to run to the back of the property. You're going to let Julius in the pond? Mm, I don't know yet. We shall see. I don't know if the bike's waterproof. But we're going to run back to the thick mud holes. Hopefully they are nasty. Slap on the GoPros. Bro! Break some stuff. Oh, it has been a minute since we've been on the bikes, man. You ready to rip, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, those brakes need a little warming up, son. Oh, that pond's going to be kick-ass later. That's going to be fun to come cool off in that mud or in that water. There we go. Oh, my gosh. These things are ripped, son. It has been a while since I've been to the property and or on a four-wheeler. I have a feeling Julius is going to roll that big son of a gun today, but we shall see. Trails still look like they're in pretty good shape. Might be some down trees here and there, but we're going to go to the mud trail. We're probably going to focus most of our time on the mud trail, depending on how bad we get stuck. Dude, a tree fell across. No! Right in the worst spot possible. Literally in the worst spot possible. Oh, we can get around though. There we go. Yeah, we can get over that. Oh yeah, the mud holes are definitely dry, but that thing does not have a bottom once it starts digging. That looks pretty rough. It might be dry. We might just go across the top. I don't know. As long as we don't dig down, we're solid. All right, I'm just going to pop it across and see. Hope I should stay on top. Oh, I did not stay on top. Oh shit, bud. I'm just going to send it back. Bogging the thousand cc motor down. I mean, that's in low, and it on on stock 30s, and it's bogging it down. I'm probably not coming out of this. I'm done. All right, all right, yeah, we're good. Yeah, I don't think we should hit that one anymore. Yeah, this is the worst one for sure. That summertime mud is thick son yep let's go around this one that's probably a good idea oh no this one has water in it bro dude we built these things way too bad okay four wheel drive for sure i don't think you're gonna make it it looks so easy but it's not i think you're gonna get stuck right at the bend we're just gonna have to test the waters oh yeah there's supposed to be a big hole right there at the end but it filled in apparently come on julius hit that mud hole Coming back! Can't see shit! Woo! We about bogged her out! Oh! I got shit in my eyes! I can't see! Woo! I'm not getting out. I'm stuck. You have to pull it. Drop back in her out! Hit it harder, buddy! Hey, throw 
and two wheel drive, rest of the trail for sure. I had a phone and no longer I don't. You don't have a phone? Not anymore. Where is it? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, I got your location, but the problem is there's no service in here. Well, let's finish off the mud trail and we'll come back. We'll just not ride those. Yeah, this mud hole's completely dry anyhow. There ain't nothing here. Oh, what kind of prints are those? Let's see some raccoon. Oh, be careful on that little hump. It about got my ass. God, it's about to do them too, didn't it? So we gotta clear those two holes out. Oh, this has water in it. This dam got busted through on a big hurricane, but the mud really, I don't believe is that bad. Yeah, that dam got blown right out. I believe we can just crawl right through here. Oh yeah, I got a muddy mess, but but yeah, those first two mud holes, bro, they are so bad. And then everything else isn't really quite bad enough. Like all this is dry. It's friggin' summertime. All this heat dr dried it right out. Well, that's basically it for the mud trail. There's this little thing that failed. Got some weeds growing up. Yeah, we gotta come back out here and do some more digging, some more work. We just need to do it on a good big rain and we can find some more low spots and put in some dams and stuff. That'd be the ticket for the mud ride and stuff. That right there just wasn't enough to satisfy the need for mud. Let's ride this trail out and we can go get my phone and try to find your location and try to find your phone. Oh crap, I forgot how steep this was. I hope Taylor could make it down. Uh, there he is. He got it. Oh yeah, this is Willie Central. Yeah, buddy! Oh, I stopped! <laughs> 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 Bro, he smoked me. Who brings their phone on a mud ride? Hey, man, I'm a noob to the mud ride. I hope we have connection. Not loading. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's giving us like, I don't know, a thousand acres to search. But his location will not load. So we're doing an old-fashioned search and rescue, I guess. Who knows where that jerker could be? On the hunt for Julius's phone. I have a feeling it's in a mud hole. He's like looking for a thousand dollars right now. Except when you find it, you don't get it. But it, once he came up saying he lost his phone, we had only hit two mud holes. The issue is... He was so sporadic on his where he was driving. Hey! Where was that at? No! That's awesome. We might have the match at the house. I'm not sure. Hey, I guess that's what happens when you look around and you find deer antlers. Okay, so we know it's either on this trail, the first two mud holes or the field. But location will not load. So we might have to come back out later. I don't know. We're going to drive. I'm going to go up here and look. Hopefully we can find it. I mean, it was definitely somewhere in the first two mud holes or that first loop over here. We just got to locate it. Hey, but we do know Julius didn't go through this mud hole. I remember him coming over here like this. He watched me get stuck. Then he drove over here and backed up. We know it's not in this one because you didn't hit that one. The only mud hole you hit is the next one. If it is in mud. The fact that it's not ringing, like if it's in that sloppy shit, it is gone. Say like if you lose your phone somewhere where you got connection, you can get a really close ping and find it. But on Find My Friends, he's showing up like four miles from here. Are you sure it's not in the truck? I mean, pretty sure. <laughs> oh my fuck. Are you shitting me? Well, I remember you came to the truck and got it out. Did you set it down? Um, I mean, I remember... I was, I was like, I put it in his pocket and I was like, that, that should hold in that pocket. So I guess it didn't. I feel like if it's anywhere, it's around the field area, realistically. We can go check the field some more. Oh, this thing's overheating. Oh, she's running hot, boys. I think we might have to come back later, buddy. I gotta put this bike in the pond because it's overheating. Oh, it is like two bars from cutting off. Yeah, we gotta wash out that radiator and bad. See if we can get in the water. Ooh, the water's so clear. Yeah, how's that cold shock, buddy? All right, we got to teach Julius what to do and what not to do. I'll just keep it in four-wheel drive. Don't let it idle. Always be have a, be given a little bit of throttle. And, I mean, I think we'll be fine. It shouldn't be super deep. I think the bike's waterproof. That makes me nervous. But it should be. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's good, I hope. And keep her in low. Oh, that's deeper than I thought it was going to be. Why is it spinning so bad? Yeah, boys, let your friends on your uh, $20,000 four-wheeler. Dude, it makes me so nervous. As long as that bike's watertight like it should be, we should be fine. He's outrunning me, though. Those naders are gripping so much better. See if I can get on top and get her just a rip. Oh, we're moving. Got a little bit of white water going. Dude, that's kind of deep. The mud on the bottom's pretty freaking stout today. I'm barely moving. Oh, that this swamp, we will sink these foilers if we go over there. Oh, we got to stay on this left side. It will sink. There, it's way too deep. Well, we can go down this left side full throttle. It's pretty shallow. You can just watch my line. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! That water.
water so much cooler. Dude, that 1000 so badass. That water is so cold. I know. So cold. Time to go back. Yeah, that is so chilly. That is so chilly. That is so, I'm freezing. That feels good. Oh my gosh. How do you make it wheelie? You're spinning out. Well, how do I make it wheelie? You gotta be easier on the throttle and throw more weight. Those tires are tough to get to wheelie. A little more throttle than that. Whoa! There it is. Broken. Do a little skimming action, baby. Whoa! Oh, what is that noise? First time skimming? No, I gotta skim it again. We're gonna go in high this time. Oh, I didn't really get any more freaking uh, momentum. I did let out. Ah! How was that? That was pretty cool. <laughs> I came in crooked as shit. Can you do that in high or no? You can, yeah. Once it tops out because it's governored, it stops spinning the wheels as fast and it gets a little sketchy. Because now you're like planer boarding across the water instead of pulling your own weight. Oh, he's skimming it. Oh, those naders just eat, dude. I gotta get naders on this bike. I don't know why I haven't yet. We gotta get Julius trained up. We can get him trained up to not sink it in here. He should be all right. Let's put her in high, baby. Man, I feel like a submarine. Woo! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! No way! Cut it off! Cut it off! Oh. I did. Dude, that was perfect. It rolled and then caught on the nose. It about crushed me. Yeah, it did about crush you. They would told me to make some dust. And <laughs> I, I know what he said. I tried to make some dust. <laughs> I know what he said. I mean, it looks good. I think it got lucky landing on the nose. It rolled so slow once it actually stopped. It stood up. I'm sitting there commentating. As I'm like, up, oh, it's rolling. Up, oh, it's flipping. Okay, it's nose heavy. It's on its nose. Julius is scooting out of the way so it doesn't crush him. Yeah, I think the only thing it broke was that tab but these break all the time it might have already been broke honestly no bit handlebars no i think it's good this got torqued well that just bent down in place can am baby can freaking am Dude, the Outlanders feel so good. Yeah, these things feel so much better than the Renegades. Dude, that was like slow-mo as slow-mo as it could get. But like, it rolled. It nose-dived. I mean, Julius is flying, but it happened so slow. I can't believe it stood up on his nose. Like, I turned around and looked, and the fool was like, that. like, uh-oh. Well, yeah, it went from its side, if I can remember correctly. Once we watch the footage back, we'll know. But it went from its side to its nose. I was like, oh, shit, son. Hey, it's good, though. No harm done. Well, on that note, should we put them on the trailer? <laughs> I say we put them on the trailer after that. They're still good to go riding tomorrow. <laughs> we should probably leave it at that. All right, let's go to the truck. I think we're uh, think we're good. <laughs> One little wash up. Get a little bit cleaner before we go. Julius is so lucky that foiler didn't land on him, bro. Dude, I can't believe how muddy this pond bottom is. I mean, I almost expect this if there was six inches of water in it. Look at that hole we just found. Woo! <laughs> These things need a good thorough bath. Well, I feel like we're ending it a little short, but I also think like we're still good to come out and ride tomorrow or later. You're not talking shit, are you? Oh, I ain't talking shit. Hey, it's your first day you didn't break nothing. You just rolled something and lost something. Ah, that's, a pretty, that's a successful trip, man. But uh, we're going to go take a look for his phone one more time and roll back to the house. We need to come back out here. We should hit some parks sometime soon. That'd be fun. Hit some mud parks. That'd be good. We just got to get you like 
thorough where you're not rolling and flipping and you know that kind of stuff i think it was taylor's fault if i'm being honest yeah, I, I think it was taylor's fault he said hey man go roll that thing but if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like subscribe we're gonna bring some modern content back i definitely would like to make a video talking about kind of why i've pittered out of it if you guys want to hear that hit the like subscribe and uh nice we'll catch you on the next one